my favorite part of being a dairy farmer on this farm is uh, everything you do you get to see where it came from. I've been working on it since I was very young and I can see all the changes that happen through my life whether they be fast or slow it, they, it's always changing. We're currently milking around 250 cows. Uh, we crop around 750 acres. This farm was started by my grandpa Vernon uh, in 1953 um, after he came home from service. Him and my grandma purchased it, built a new milking facility, Tystel Barn. Um, my dad and my uncle kept the farm going, uh, milked in a Tystel Barn up until 2015. Uh, when we decided to put two robots in, still milked in the tie cell barn, and then in 2017 we went all robots and put two more in. On this dairy farm, um, it's my dad Dave, my uncle Randy, and my cousin Kyler um, all involved. So I'll be third generation dairy farmer here. Um, my role on the farm is mostly feeding uh, on a daily occurrence. Otherwise, the thing I like about dairy farming and having a small farm is I get to do so many different things in a day. It really breaks the day up, makes it go by fast. My daily routine um, on this farm is we usually start work around six. Uh, I will be going to feed. Um, my dad and my uncle will be out in the barn fetching cows. My uncle Randy takes care of all the calves and some of the young stock in the other barn and dry cows. And after that, uh, just work in the shop or find things that need to be taken care of during the day. Um, at night we have chores and we're usually done around 6.30 with fetching cows and cleaning everything up. Um, I think our farm is unique um, because we do most of our work ourselves. It's mostly family, you know. Um, we don't really rely on too many outsources to get the job done. Uh, we have four Lely robots. Um, they all are, have been working very well for us. Um, usually get two and a half milkings per day. Our milk production has went up significantly, uh, I would say, since moving from the Thai Stall Barn. And cow comfort and cow ease has been huge. Apps Lately has been, you know, with us. We've been with them and they've been with us. It's a team, you know, vice versa for, for several years. Um, and when we need them, they're here, you know, whether it's the middle of the night, you know, a Sunday, a holiday, they always have a tech ready to go. We also have a Juno um, feed pusher, which runs every other hour. Um, so basically uh, 12 times a day, it is running, pushing up the feed, which saves on a skid steer, saves on somebody coming out here in the middle of the night to making sure that feed is tight to the bunk, um, which really is, it's priceless. Mm -hmm. Advice for a future farmer that I would have would be, if you're just getting into it, take advantage of the FSA programs that are out there. Um, not everything that you do on your farm is gonna be one size fits all, you know. There's always something that will work for one guy that won't work for the other and vice versa. Um, so every farm is unique. I mean, every farm started from something. So, I mean, you'd have to just have to keep your head up and keep striving. If it's what you want to do, you're going to do it. A future goal for this dairy farm of mine would be to leave it in as good of condition or better for the next generation. And who's the next generation? <laughs> My kids or Kyler's kids.